saw my epitaph And I don't think I can even afford to get that I got no money for a funeral What's more to press than that? Yo, man, I thought you owned your own business I ride a bike, man, no getting rich quick What about rhyming? I heard you get sick I'm on this track, I think anyone buys this shit Everybody, just be glad you living No matter what social class you giving For I know this is a bad incentive I'm just thrilled to have enough loot for past blue ribbon Cause I'm not poor yeah. Could you tell me a little bit about Point Dexter Village? Okay, alright and... Well, uh, I grew up on uh, 1457 Hearthorn um, few houses down from Point Extra Village, right in front of the uh, old uh, St. Anthony's Hospital. Um, Point Extra Village, we used to walk through there going to Champion every day. Mm -hmm. um, it was a peaceful place. Um, it was a place where you can go. We used to play football, and uh, we just had a great time. Uh, even though it was a housing project, you didn't know it was a housing project because people that lived there, they still watched out for other people's kids. And you were hungry, or you know, the, you know they had a sense of Come on, boy, come on in the house and get something to eat. After her mother's death, her Aunt Marie stopped by every morning and sent the kids off to school and prepared their lunches until she married. The community helped as much as possible. In those days, she remembers, everyone knew everyone else's child, pet, work schedule, and habits, and they looked out for one another. Our parents could genuinely praise us and would also lovingly kill us if we were disobedient to them or another adult. When, you, when I started cutting, we could just zigzag down Long Street to Cubs and then go on over to Mount Vernon. Well, did, yeah. how, did people in the neighborhood work, have jobs in the, in the area? Us, yeah, uh, uh, the Olympia on Mount Vernon, my sister and quite a few of them worked at the Olympia. We used to call this Bronzeville Model. Um, they had a donut shop on Mount Vernon. He had the mm -hmm. um, drug, Tyler's drugstore right mm -hmm. there at 20th and Mount Vernon. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. he, Mr. Tyler, was used to be on Long Street. As a matter of fact, he lived there on Long Street. You can walk through Hughes Alley, and he was right there on the corner on the right-hand side going north. Lewis remarried. The family moved to, to the old Blackberry Patch, now the Poindexter Village. An extra glimmer of light seemed to enter her eyes as she mentioned her Poindexter home and very excitedly said, our old house was very, 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 very fine house. Everything was shiny and new. There was no need to scrub until your hands blistered. Even President Roosevelt came to see the Poindexter village and I got to shake his hand. Yeah, you do? all the time people come, when they come in, because we got a shoe shine guy. Uh -huh. Anytime someone comes in, they automatically, man, I remember that. I remember we used to go here. So they um, lived here and they know. They, they moved they, here. They, they you carried, got people yeah. in Cleveland, California, uh -huh. Denver. Uh -huh. uh, because I'm an East High School alumni, uh -huh. so a lot of people uh, come by the shop, mm -hmm. um, either to buy t-shirts or something for alumni. And I tell upstairs. Uh -huh. And everything was black owned on Long Street, except the theaters. Mm -hmm to um, what else we got down there? Carl Brown's historical place that we got up there. Um, Tooney's Drive through Lee Style Shop. Um, you got the Macon, you got the, the Plaza, the Towers, the Urban League. Um, you got Crawley's Custom Framing. You also have um, this building right here. It's gonna be a historical landmark. It's gonna have a mural in it. In this area, we just need to restore some stuff. Mm -hmm. This is a great community to live in. It's a great community to do business in, and it will be um, a healthy community. And, and get and, and find out ways to attract more people to want to come back to the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So, um, and they want to come. They just got to find something to do. You know, just got to have something to do, some place to go, and that's just it. American boy, and if I'm back, and we still found no weapons of mass destruction is beginning to pass. But I guess we all need a little bit of patience when it's in a multi-face, and it's still get the right house. Yeah.